you can grab your block and just come to sit on top of it. And you can have your feet planted on the floor, I don't know, a foot and a half or two feet away from you. And just have your feet down on the ground. Your legs can be either hip width or a touch wider. I'm gonna go with just a little bit wider. And then bring your hands either to your knees or your shins and then just press your hands into your shins but feel like your back kind of doing a bit of the work as you come up nice and tall. And then slowly slide your hands down your shins as you bring your chest forward, keeping your tailbone nice and long, reaching forward through with the chest. And then come back up nice and tall like you're stacking your spine all the way up. And then again, hinge forward at the hips. And again, if you need to walk your feet a little bit more to give yourself more space in the hips, do so. And slide yourself all the way back up. And then one more time, hinge forward. And then coming back up. And then leave your legs here. And then just round forward this time, keeping your hips and low back kind of still, just rounding over your legs. And then slowly stack your spine back up. Ribs will come on top of your hips and shoulders and head. Relax those shoulders. And then again, round forward. Kind of like when we're doing spine stretch forward where your low back isn't really moving away from like an imaginary wall behind you. Really rounding through your upper back. One more time. And then coming all the way back up. And then resting your arms on your legs. Just think about letting your elbows sort of drift down towards the ground, finding a nice tall seat. And then take a nice breath in. Feel your ribs expand. Feel your pelvic floor descend towards the floor. And then exhale. Almost think like you're going to pick the block up with your pelvic floor. Hips start to draw towards one another, transverse abdominals. And then your ribs draw in. And then take a nice big inhale. Let everything release. If you'd prefer to cross your legs here, if that's a little bit more comfortable, do that. And just take that big inhale. And then exhale. Feel your pelvic floor lift away from the block. The hips draw in. The ribs draw towards one another as you go up. And then release. One more time. Finding that connection of the lower abdominals, middle of your abdominals through your transverse, and then closing your ribs. And then cross your legs whether or not you have them crossed already. And then just bring your hands back to your knees. From here, you're going to press your hands into your knees and lift your chest up, trying to find a little bit of a back bend here, that extension. And then press your hands into your knee, or press rather your knees into your hands this time, and then round back off of your sitting bones. And then press your hands into your knees as you pull your chest through. Make sure you're not at the very edge of your block in the back or you won't have any room for your sacrum. And then lower, pressing those knees into your hands as you round, relax your shoulders, and then press your hands into your knees to pull your chest forward. And lift. You can let your head come all the way back if that's comfortable. <coughs> and then round back, press your knees into your hands one more time. And then come to a nice neutral position here and bring your hands right behind your head. Think about lengthening through the crown of your head here. And then you're just gonna twist and rotate towards the right. And then come back to the center. Like your spine is some rebar and you're just rotating around it. Your legs stay nice and still and back. And if you prefer to move your legs back into that planted position, Either one, whatever's comfortable, or straight out is fine. And back up, last one to the right. And then from here, you're gonna reach that right elbow up towards the ceiling, left elbow towards your left leg, finding length through that right side, and then come all the way up. Keeping in that rotation, and then side bend up and over, lengthening through that left side, but you're not collapsing through the left as you lengthen through the right, one more time. And then come all the way back up, untwist, and then we're going to rotate to the left. And then back to center. Try to keep your elbows in your peripheral view as you twist and rotate. 
and center. Three more. Making sure you're not holding your breath here. You can think that little exhale and lift of the pelvic floor if you'd like while you're twisting, but it'll happen naturally as well. Pause here in your twist, your rotation, and then side bend up and over, reaching long through that left side, trying to get that under stretch through the bottom side of your left arm as well, and then back up tall. And again, side bend. That right side stays nice and long. You're not collapsing, but which would look like this. That right elbow doesn't need to come anywhere near your knee. Last one. And come all the way up, square yourself off to the center. From here, you're gonna twist to the right, side bend to the left, and then round forward, side bend and open up to the left as your right elbow comes towards your right knee, and then stack your spine up nice and tall. We're gonna do two in each direction. So right arm toward right elbow toward your right knee, round forward, without pressing that head down, open up towards the right, left hand goes towards the left leg. And then up one more time to each side, down, keeping to that open to the right, round forward, press your head gently into your hands, your chin is not pressing into your chest, and then open up towards the left. Last time, round down, and open, and come all the way up, and then rotate center. And shake your hands out, you're going to take the block out from underneath you and go ahead and bring it convenient towards the top of your mat. We're gonna use it in a few minutes. And then bring your knees right underneath your hips, hands underneath your shoulders, and then just take a second to bend your elbows and then think about rotating them in gently and then pressing the floor away, finding a nice straight arm without hyperextending them. And then as you press the floor away, you're gonna keep pressing the floor away, round gently through the upper back, through the shoulders really more than the upper back, and then you're gonna let the shoulder blades slide in towards your spine. And then press into your hands, separate the shoulder blades, and then let them slide in towards the spine and separate. Three more. Two. Neck is nice and long, last one. Pause here. From here, you are going to take your right hip and lengthen through the left side as you shorten your right hip towards your left or towards the right shoulder, and then lengthen the hips back. Keep pressing through the hands, side, other side, so left hip, left shoulder, center. The upper back and the shoulder stay still. You're just rocking from one side to the other, like you're gently wagging a tail here from the left to the right. Feet are gently pressing into the floor, over to the left, and then square yourself back off. And then from here, you're going to plant your right knee, your right foot is going to come up into the air, and you're going to internally rotate that right leg. Your right hip is going to slide up towards your right shoulder, and then you're going to side bend over your right shoulder, look at your foot and then externally rotate through the top of that leg and then side bend over your left shoulder. And then back over to the right. And to the left, check in on your elbows, make sure they haven't started to hyperextend. And to the right, one more time. Good, and then from here, Keeping this shape of your leg, you're going to lift until that thigh is about parallel with the ground or just below. And then you're going to tap your leg down and press it back up. Like your toes or the sole of your foot, depending on whether your foot is flexed or pointed or somewhere in the middle. We'll go up towards the ceiling. Making sure your hips haven't slid over towards that left side. Think about lengthening through the quad, through the hip flexor as you lift. Two. And last one, extend your leg long, bring it to the right side of the mat, and then lift it up here in this little diagonal with your leg slightly externally rotated for four, three, two, last one, lift it to the top, send it over to the left side of the mat, you're going to tap it down, your leg is slightly internally rotated here, 
and lift for five, four, three, <coughs> excuse me, two, last one, lift it over to the right side, keeping it at the same height, slide it over to the left, same height, over to the right, and back to the left, four more, right, to the left, three, same height, two, last one, drop it down to the right, lift it up, send it over to the left, and drop it down, lift, bring it back to neutral as you slide it over, slight external rotation, tapping it down, slide it over, slight internal rotation, as you tap it to the left, two more, and over to the right, find that internal rotation, slide it across that imaginary table, down, last one to the left, and then bring that leg in and place your right knee on top of your calf, and then you're just going to extend your right leg, not leg, but like unbend your knee, and then bend your knee. And if you want to come down onto your forearms for this, that's fine. Just sort of massaging out that calf. This feels kind of terrible. Bring it up a little closer to your knee, and then back down. You can press and be gentle and then move it away. Or you can be a little bit more intense with this, but either way, it's not great, but it's also really nice. <laughs> Two more. Last one. And again, you can stay on your forearms here, come up to your hands, your choice. You're gonna lift your knee tapping on this left foot, and you're gonna lift it up just to parallel with that hip, and then internally rotate, tap it down, and lift, and internally rotate, and lift. You're just tapping that left calf. You're not trying to get a little stretch through it at the moment. Two, pause here. Now you're gonna lift and extend. Tap it down, lift and extend. And tap it down for six. Five, four, three. And last one. And then bring your knee underneath you, bring your knees wide. And you're gonna sit down into a nice child's pose here. Just sinking your body towards the floor. You can gently rock back and forth from one side to the other if that feels nice. And then when you're ready, come up onto all fours again. So this time, actually, I will spin around. This time you want your hands underneath your shoulders again and your left leg is going to tap that knee on the floor. You're going to internally rotate, look over your left shoulder, side bend to the left. Externally rotate, think that the rotation and the movement of that leg, or the foot rather, from one side to the other, is coming from your femur rotating in your pelvis. And really think about length through the side that is long, so you're getting like a little stretch here. Once more. And then pause here in the center. From here, again, soft elbows, press the floor away, really feel that engagement through the lats. Little gentle drag back of the heels of the hands, and then you're just gonna lift your leg up until hip height or just below, and then tap it down. And lift, and tap it down. And lift. For six, five, again, thinking on that length through the front of the hip, front of the leg. And you can always do all of this on your forearms if your wrists don't feel like it today. Two, last one, pause here, extend the leg long. We're going to start externally rotated over towards that left corner, lower it down, and lift. And lift. Three more. Two, make sure you're not leaning all the way over to that right side. Last one, leave it lifted, slide it over, internally rotate. Tap it down here for five, four, three, two. Last one, leave it lifted, slide it over to the left. Externally rotate, internally rotate, slide it back over. Slide it over to the left and to the right. Keeping it at the same 
height, like you're just sliding it on that imaginary table. One more time, tap it down here, lift, slide it over, tap it down. And lift, tap, three more. And last one. And tap. And then bend that knee and bring it on to your now right calf. Again, come onto your forearms here. And then start close to your knee, a little farther away from your knee, whatever feels good. Bend in. Straighten that left leg. Massaging that calf. Pressing the floor away here still. Ooh. One or two more times. And then pause with that knee bent, just gently tapping that thigh and then lift it up, bringing the leg back to center and then internally rotate as you tap it down and lift. Tap it down, internally rotate, and lift. Rotating it back to neutral. Knee faces the floor, thigh faces the floor. Your low back not involved. You're not arching. You're just staying in that neutral spine one more time. Pause here, and then extend. And then bend it in, internally rotate. Extend and reach it long. Bend it in. Toes and knee face the floor. In. Three more. And last one. And then bring that leg all the way in underneath you. Sit back onto child's pose and then bring your hands together above your head and just roll your hands together in one direction with your fingers clasped, palms clasped, and then rotate in the opposite direction. Good, and then from here, press yourself up and grab onto your block. And you're gonna put your block on your sacrum. Of course, you can do this with a book if it's not too big, rather too heavy. Keeping it on your sacrum. <coughs> Add a little balance here. So you're just gonna start with that right foot. And again, if you want to do this on your forearms or this is too much on your wrist, but you don't quite wanna to go to your forearms, Roll your mat over like this and the heels of your hands will be a little higher than your fingers and that will help give you a little relief through the wrists. You're gonna extend your right foot out and then float it up. And then tap it down. And then float it up. And tap it down. Keeping the focus here on whether your pelvis is square to the floor. One more and then we're gonna add on. Bring that knee underneath you. Left hand. Bring it up, send it out, and bring it in, and send it out. Elbow pulls in close towards your side. Your hand is just below your shoulder. Two more. Last one. Lower that hand down, switching to the right leg. Or left leg, rather, float it up, and tap it down for six. Four three, two, last one, bring that leg underneath you, right hand just below the shoulder, reach it out overhead and then think like you're pulling something back, creating that resistance and extend it overhead and back in for four, three, two, last one. Place that right hand down. Extend the right leg, left arm. Bring them in underneath you. And then extend. And bring it in. And extend. And bring it in. Two more. Just fix the block if you need. Last one, pull it in. Lower it down, switching sides. Right arm, left leg. Pull it in, your knee and elbow don't need to touch. Just bringing them both underneath you. 
in this nice neutral position. Three more. Two. And last one. Good. Place your right or all your hands and legs down. <coughs> From here, send your left leg or right leg back or either leg, it doesn't matter. Keep those toes planted on the ground. Reach the same side hand out in front of you. And then try to float that hand and foot off of the mat. Feeling that lift of the pelvic floor. Trying to find your balance here, keeping your hips nice and square. My hips are square, but I'm shifted all the way to the left. And then put that side down, we'll try the other side. Left toes curl under, opposite side toes curl under. Left hand or same side hand out, float the hand and the leg up, and then just try to balance here for four, three, two, last one, and then lower all the way down, take the block off, and then come to sit on your butt. <coughs> We're gonna give our wrists a break here. So take the block and put it in between your thighs, I have it like the narrow way. If it is more comfortable to have it wide, go for it. Sitting up nice and tall here. Arms are long, curl the tailbone under, but feel that opening through the front of your hips first. And then think about placing your sacrum on the floor. So almost like your shoulders stay where you are, but this, <coughs> excuse me. This distance in the front of your hips gets wider and wider and wider and wider and wider. And I'm still lowering down more of my back, but my shoulders aren't moving so quickly. And then lengthen your arms all the way overhead. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale. Start to let your arms flow up. When they're in your peripheral, take a big inhale. Exhale. Feel the lift of the pelvic floor, the squeeze of the block as you come all the way back up tall. And then again, curl your tailbone under. Really think about opening up through the front of the hips. You're moving back in space more than you are down with the shoulders, relaxing. And then that distance between your ribs and hips is super short. And then lower all the way down. This time, try to keep your ribs on the floor. Arms come up, inhale. Head, neck, and shoulders curl up. Take a big breath in, exhale. Feel the lift of the pelvic floor, the wrap of the hips towards one another, the transverse abdominals, and your ribs. And then roll all the way forward over your legs. Inhale. And on your exhale, start to roll back. Going at your own pace here. And let your arms come overhead. Again, back ribs stay on the floor. Press through the hands, curl your head, neck, and shoulders up. On your exhale, think lift of the rib cage, draw the ribs and hips together, lift of the rib cage, lift of the pelvic floor, and then round forward over your legs. It's time to stack yourself all the way back up. Take a nice big inhale, arms are nice and long. Exhale, squeeze the block, lift through the pelvic floor, and hinge back. And then coming all the way up tall. Inhale, release, exhale, squeeze, and then deepen your exhale as you come all the way back up. You can also do this with your hands behind your head. It'll give you a little bit more challenge, but maybe you feel more support and you don't go quite as far back. That's also fine. And then hinge back. Think about lengthening as you come up tall. Two more. Last one. Pause here and then tuck your tailbone under all the way down. This time, let your legs come all the way down. Let your arms come overhead. Hang out here where it feels good. In a nice stretch. And then plant your feet. Give that block a gentle squeeze. You have a ponytail. Just move it out of the way so your head is planted on the floor here. And then take a nice big inhale. Exhale. Find that connection, that lift of the pelvic floor, the wrap of your hips towards one another, the wrap of your transverse abdominals, and your ribs drawing in, and then release. And then inhale, 
find that engagement. And release on your exhale. Shoulders stay relaxed. Inhale here. Exhale, start to peel the tailbone off the mat, curl it under, and then find that connection, that lift of the pelvic floor, that gentle squeeze of the block as you come into a little bridge. And then peel yourself all the way back down, one vertebrae at a time. And release all the way. Pelvic floor releases all the way as do your hips. Take a nice big inhale. Prepare. Curl the tailbone under. Think the lift of the pelvic floor is helping curl each under the ribs draw towards your hips. Hips are drawing in. Ribs are drawing in as you lift. Like that pelvic floor is helping and controlling the inner thighs to squeeze that block. Staying here, float the arms up. Inhale, exhale, float the arms down, give the block a squeeze, lift the pelvic floor a little more. Slightly release that tension as you lift the arms up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, float down. Inhale, exhale, float down. Two more. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. Peel the spine all the way down, one vertebrae at a time. And then bring your knees into your chest. Take the block out and just bring it off to the side. Gently rock back and forth from one side to the other. And then from here, lower your feet to the floor. We're just gonna do a couple or a little marching progression before we go into some dead bug tabletop -y stuff. So from here, your hands can be on your body, on your ribs and your stomach, your like lower abdominals if you'd like, or you can bring them by your side, your choice. Take a nice big inhale. On your exhale, float that right leg up. And then lower it all the way down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. or reverse your breath, whichever works for you. One more time on this right side. Check in, make sure this right hip isn't starting to hike up towards your shoulder. You're staying nice and neutral and connected here through the lower abdominals. And then switch to the left. Whatever breath works for you. Making sure you're staying in neutral here. You're not starting to tip the pelvis in order to help you find the engagement the strength to bring that leg up. If you need to be slightly in a pelvic tilt, that's fine, but you don't want to rock in and out. Just pick neutral or tilted. One more time. And lower, or leave this leg up, inhale, exhale, bring the right leg up to meet the left. And then tap the left leg down and bring it up, switching sides. And if this is too much to bring your leg all the way to the floor and back up, don't. Either limit your range of motion or drop your feet towards your knees and just think about moving from the knee and back up. Last one to the right. Last one to the left. Good, bring your hands behind your head. Curl the head, neck, and shoulders up. Think about finding length through both the front and back of your torso. Your chin is not pressing into your chest, and you're gonna lower your right leg down and lift it back up. And then left side, lower and lift. One more time to each side like this. Left. And then from here, you're gonna extend your right leg. Feel the connection between your sitting bone and your heel and draw it back in. Other side, sitting bone and heel, stay connected. Resist as you bring it back in. If this is too much with your head lifted, one, make sure that your head is gently pressing into your hands or simply lower your head to the floor. 
one more time to each side. Last one to the left. And then lower all the way down, bring your knees in towards your chest. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale, find that connection as you start to curl up and extend both your legs together. And then resist as you bring them back in. Bring them all the way in. You can lower your head or pause with your head lifted, your choice. Curl the head, neck, and shoulders up as you extend. Or your other option is just to bring your knees all the way into your chest past 90 and then press them away, keeping your upper torso where it is. And back in, or you can alternate. We're gonna do four more. <coughs> Three. Think about lifting through the pelvic floor. Two, press your head back into your hands. Lift your chin off your chest. Last one. Bend your knees all the way in towards your chest, grab onto your shins, and gently rock from one side to the other. Plant your feet on the floor, slightly wider than your hips, and I'm gonna bring my hands behind my head just because that feels good, and then let your knees come over to one side, and then switch over to the other side. Good, coming all the way up. And then rotate all the way over, actually coming onto your abdominals. So stomach down towards the floor. You can use your block here if you'd like, but if you prefer to have your hands a little bit wider, if you have two blocks, you can just use two, or you can simply put your hands on the floor and just let them slide on the floor. <coughs> so laying all the way down, you're gonna let your forehead come to the floor and then press the block away. Let your upper arms internally rotate like they're giving your head a little hug. <clears throat> Hips are heavy on the mat, pelvic floor is heavy on the mat. Take a nice big inhale. Feel your ribs expand in all the different directions, 360, and then exhale. Feel that pelvic floor lift and that wrap of your abdominals. It may be a little harder to find here for a second just because you're pressing down into your abdominals, but having the connection using your pelvic floor will all help you not get into your low back so much and get better extension. <clears throat> or at least find where the extension should be a little bit more easily. All right, so you have that nice lift and connection. You know what that feels like. Arms are internally rotated. Externally rotate those arms as you press your hands down and then slide the block towards you as you open your chest up through your arms. And then again, find that connection up through the pelvic floor, that lift. Maybe you're a little too high. You have to lower down to get out of your low back, but you're finding that nice extension here. Hold here for just a second and then press the arms away. Feel them slightly internally rotate as you lower down. Inhale, exhale, find that pelvic floor, that wrap of the abdominals, the pulling in of the ribs as you externally rotate the arms and lift into your extension. Lowering back down. And if this is uncomfortable on your pubic bone, just throw a towel underneath you or fold your mat in half to give you a little bit more padding. Take a nice big inhale, exhale, externally rotate, lift the pelvic floor, find the wrap of the ribs. Think about pressing that pubic bone gently into the floor as you lift, lower all the way back down. Bring your head to one side, bring your hands next to you and just give your hips a little shake. From one side to the other. And then from here, curl your toes under. Arms are right underneath your shoulders. Elbows are drawn in towards your side. You can also do this on your shins instead of your feet. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale. Find the lift of the pelvic floor, the draw in. Find yourself lifted into a plank like an inch off the ground and then inhale. Exhale again. Press yourself up in one long line here. Lift your hips up towards the ceiling. You can pedal them out a little if that feels good here lengthening through the back of the legs, and then you're gonna drop down onto your knees and grab your block one last time. Pop it in between your thighs, like so. 
a little space between your pelvis and the block, but also between your knees and the, or the block and your knees. Coming back to good old all fours again. Tuck those toes under. Again, find whatever positioning is comfortable for your wrists. Toes tucked under, take a nice big inhale. Exhale, squeeze the block and lift. Inhale, hold here. Exhale, squeeze the block. And then release on your inhale. Exhale, squeeze. And release. Finding that nice connection through the pelvic floor. And if this is too much, you can just lift and lower as you inhale and exhale. We're gonna do four more. Exhale, squeeze. Neck is nice and long. Gently pulling the heels of the hands back towards the knees. Two. Last one, lower the knees all the way down. Come onto your forearms here, palms face up, and then round your spine up towards the ceiling, drawing that pelvic floor up as you exhale. And then inhale, widen through the sitting bones. Think about pulling your chest through your arms, elbows reach back towards your thighs. Think about sending that block away from you and then round the spine back up towards the ceiling. Like you're gonna send the block with your thighs to hit you in the face. And then the other way, the block gently moves away from you. You can also put more of the block behind you in between your thighs if it's like poking you in the stomach, like that. And then inhale, or exhale rather, round through the spine. One more time. And then come onto your left forearm with that block again in between your thighs. Hand can be on your hip or up towards the ceiling, your choice. Feet stay together. You're gonna give the block a little squeeze as you lift. Or you can extend this top leg towards the floor and then you're gonna lower halfway down. Squeeze the block as you lift. And if this doesn't feel good with the block, just put it off to the side. Four more. Think about your pelvic floor helping lift your torso. That wrap through the whole center, the hips, the transverse abdominals, and then the ribs. Two more. Last one. And then lower all the way down. Take the block out for a moment. Separate the legs. So send your right leg back, left leg forward. Sitting up nice and tall. Make sure your pants are out of the way so you don't feel like you're being chopped in half. Arms out to the side. Reach all the way to the right and then side bend up and over. Really getting a nice stretch through that left side. Maybe even the low back on that left side and then come all the way up, keeping that right hip heavy, slide all the way over to the left, plant that left hand down. You can come onto your forearm if that feels better, and side bend all the way over to the left. And then come all the way up, spin your legs around, pop the block back in between your thighs and coming onto your right forearm. Again, pull that right forearm underneath you. And then when you're ready, you're gonna come up into that ooh, side plank. Arm can be long, behind your head, on your hip, whatever works. And you're gonna lower it down towards the floor and then lift. Think about using that pelvic floor. Inhale as you lower, exhale to lift. Four more. Two. And last one. And then lower all the way down. Take that block out. You are done with it. Place it off to the side. Left leg back, right leg forward. Sitting up ooh, nice and tall. Arms long. Start going to the left. So reach, 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 reach until you start to feel a nice stretch back here. And then side bend whoo, up and over. Couple breaths here. Two. 
and then we'll reach all the way out to the right, keeping that left hip down. Reach the hand, come down onto that forearm, and reach up and over. Keep reaching back out of that leg so you get a little bit more stretch through the front of your hip. And then come all the way up. Bring that right leg or left leg rather around. Sitting cross leg. If you do want to come back to sit on top of your block, you're more than welcome to. And press your hands gently into your knees. Find yourself being centered, not pulled forward or leaning back for that matter. And then you're just going to nod your chin. Send your right ear over to your right shoulder. You can gently use that hand to give you a little bit more tension if you need. This left arm is totally relaxed. And then bring your chin towards your chest. Bring that left ear over to the left shoulder. And grab onto your head if you'd like here too. Right arm is nice and relaxed. And then stacking yourself up nice and tall. Reach your arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Externally rotate and then feel your ribs drop. Press down through your arms as you grow nice and tall. Bring your arms down by your side and you are all finished. Thank you. See you next weekend.